on its own, Turnitin is useful for the originality report it generates, but in terms of feedback to learners, it's limited to just an online comment and a grade. However, if you use it in conjunction with Grademark, it's a lot more flexible. To use Grademark, you first need to set up a Turnitin assignment in Moodle. and make whatever settings you want to make. After the initial setup, if I click on the assignment itself, first just let me show you in options that Grademark is indeed going to be used to grade and give feedback on the submissions. And then if I go over to Summary and click on Edit, you can see there are three dates, the start date, the due date, and the post date. The first two are fairly self-explanatory. Uh, the post date is the date after which students can actually access their feedback and their grades. So if you have a difference of three days between the due date and the post date, that means you have three days to grade and give feedback, and the students won't actually be able to see the grading or the feedback during this time. And then after the post date, yep, they can see it. After you click Submit, data is synchronized and then the assignment is completely set up. Now I'm logged on as a student and here is the assignment that's just been set up and I go to my submissions I'm going to do file upload and my submission is made. At the moment you can see my similarity report is pending, so I'm going to refresh. And after submitting and waiting a few minutes, the similarity report is now ready. I've got 10% similarity. Okay, it's a short piece and Turnitin has found the one direct quotation that I've included there. Logged on as a teacher again, I'll go to my submissions inbox and see that there's a paper there, so click on the pencil and the grey mark viewer opens up. If I click on originality report, there's the originality report. If I click on grey mark and click on this little circle, I can have the originality report overlaying the grey mark interface if I wish. And on grey mark itself there are various ways to give feedback. Um, the first one is using bubble comments which is this icon here. and you can see that I can save it as a new quick mark. A quick mark is basically a bank where you can save your own comments and you can use comments that are already prepared for you, such as here, commonly used terms that are available. And if I click, there's also composition, composition marks, punctuation, and so on. So, as I said, you have the choice to add a new quick mark to the list if you want. I'm just going to save it, and there it is. If you mouse over it, it comes up, take it away, and it goes. You can move these comments around, and as you can see, there's a, a trash can there, so you can delete comments as well. The next tool I want to use is for inline comments, or text comments, which is here clicking on the T. And now if I click on the interface, I just have a space where I can write. And when I click away, that's it, the comment is there, and also I can trash it. Quick mark comments I mentioned before from the bank, so let me just drag one in, and that's it. And when the student mouse is over it, it has an explanation of what it means. And again, you can edit this. If you wish, you can highlight text just by clicking on it and dragging, and then if I click in it, it would add a comment. I can change the color of the highlight, and write my comment. And once again I have the option to save it as a new quick mark if I wish. And another way you can use highlighting is to highlight a word and then if I press delete or backspace on my keyboard it gives you a nice strike through effect so that's quite useful as well. If we look at the bottom of the interface this enables the teacher to print or download a copy of the assignment this changes the zoom 
and here at the moment we're on the quick mark section. The other final two ways you can give feedback are using general comments, a text comment and a voice comment. So here I can give my overall general comment. And save it. I can also record a voice comment. Good work. And then hit this button to save the voice comment. And finally, I can give it a grade. And that's it. The student work is now completely marked and I've given feedback. One more thing to point out. At the top here it says paper one out of one and you can see a left and right hand navigation buttons which are greyed out. That's because I only have one student submission at the moment. But if there's more than one, you can click through and go from one submission to another without having to go back to Moodle. So that's quite a nice feature as well. Now that the post date is passed, I can log back on as a student, go to my assignment, look at my submission, here's my grade, if I click on the pencil icon, I can see my grade, I can see the various types of feedback that I was given, including the, ov the overall text comment, and I can play the voice comment as well. One final thing to mention, um, back in my submissions inbox, is that Turnitin Grademark can show what it refers to as student engagement levels with the feedback. Um, basically, if an icon of a person appears here in this column, that means that a student has spent longer than 30 seconds in Grademark looking at their paper. So there's a basic form of learning analytics there for you. And that's it for Turnitin Grademark. I think quite a useful tool in terms of giving students feedback.